Hello everybody and welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson I will teach you how to count from 1 to 20 in Portuguese and I am also going to give you a few more sentence examples so you can practice with these numbers on your own after you watch this amazing video. If you like already what I'm talking about and if you love the Portuguese language and you really want to learn it, well, leave your like, hitting the like button down below and also leave your comments after the video because I really would like to know what else you would like to learn from this channel and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. So, let's get started. One, we say um, um. Attention here, it's not uno, un, it's um, um. It's like nasal right here, um, um, um. All right, so repeat, um, um. It's almost like you say, um, um, um. Number two, dois, dois. It's really good for you to practice and repeat out loud because you will be practicing uh, some very important pronunciation points in Portuguese with these numbers. So, dois, dois, três, three, três. This number, you might hear people say also três, três, but in other places, and I say tres, cuatro, four, repeat, cuatro, nice, five, cinco, cinco, some people will say with this U sound at the end, and some will say, as you really write it, cinco, but people also say cinco, 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 right? Now, number six, seis, seis. Number seven, sete, sete. Now, pay attention to this end, the, to the end of this word, sete. Because if you read it, like the way you write, you would say sete. In some regions of Brazil, you will hear people say sete. But I say sete. Oito. Eight. Oito. Same thing. It ends with O. You can also, you can say oito or oitu. Nine, nove, nove. Now here it ends with e, and we can say nove or just nove. Ten, des, des. You're also going to hear people saying days, days. Eleven, onze. Onze, twelve, doze, doze, thirteen, treze, treze, fourteen, quatorze, quatorze. You can also hear people say also quatorze, quatorze, fifteen, quinze. Quinze. It's like in the States you have sweet 16, right? Here, that birthday would be the 15th birthday. That's the important birthday on a girl's life. Okay, so it's, they celebrate with like a really big party, their 15th birthday. So, quinze. 16, Jesus says. Dezesseis, which you can also hear, dezesseis, 
16. 17, 17. 17. Ou 17. 19, 19. 19. Ou 19. When you say it fast, you just say 19. Now, 20, 20. 20. Very good. Now we're going to take a look at a few sentence examples that I came up with while I was writing this lesson. <laughs> so you can talk about your age. You know, a lot of people don't like to reveal their real age. That's why I'm teaching you here from uh, zero to... Oh, also I forgot to uh, tell you the number zero, which is zero. Zero. Ro. Ro. And that's why I try to bring here for you number 1 to 20 so you can say you are below 20 or tops 20 <laughs> all right so frases phrases quantos anos você tem how old are you quantos anos você tem in portuguese we don't ask how old a person is literally we say how many years do you have? Which to me makes sense, you know, to say how many years do you have on your back already? <laughs> Something like that. So that's the verb we use, which is a huge uh, problem for Brazilian people because they're not used to saying when they're learning English, I am da -da 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 years old. So they usually say, I have 20 years old because that's how we say in Portuguese. So now you are going to have to do that. Eu tenho 20 anos. That means I have 20 years. That's how we say it. Just accept. Don't try to translate it literally because it's not going to make sense to you. Just accept that we say I have and you say I am an age. Repeat. Eu tenho 20 anos. You can also say 20 anos de, da, de idade. That would be the years old, basically. So, because uh, literally it would mean I have 20 years of age. So, eu tenho 20 anos de idade. Next example, eu tenho 18 anos de idade. I am 18 years old. Repeat, eu tenho 18 anos de idade. Now, if you want to ask uh, somebody else's age, you say, Quantos anos ele, he, tem? Quantos anos ele tem? Repeat. Now, if you want to ask her age, her, whoever she is, that's right here, standing next to me. No, she isn't. <laughs> there's nobody here. But anyway, pretend there's a person here. And uh, I want to ask her age, and I say... I, I want to ask you her age. So I say, quantos anos, how many years, ela tem, she has, right? Or she is in English. Um, repeat, quantos anos ela tem? Nice. Now I'm going to give you a few examples of how to answer uh, somebody else's age. So if you want to say, my son... Uh, is two years old, you can say, or oh, is two, you can say, meu filho, my son, meu filho, filho, son, uh, filha, daughter, meu filho tem dois anos, meu filho tem dois anos, minha filha, my daughter, Tem cinco anos. So, my daughter, literally, that would mean my daughter has five years. Right? Because we use have. I already said that, I guess. <laughs> so, repeat. Minha filha tem cinco anos. Cool. Now, we have this little thing we do in Portuguese, which is... Um, chamado de... 
It's called diminutivo. It's like you say dog, but you want to you want to refer to a little dog. You say doggy, right? You have this doggy, this Y ending that makes it small and whatever. You know, like thing thingy, like the little thingy. So we use that in Portuguese uh, with few endings. I'm not gonna go. Um, into detail about this, but you're just gonna learn about ages. So if you wanna say uh, uh, a child, uh, he's only five years old, you can also say in Portuguese, of course, he's only uh, five little years. You know what I mean? So we say ele tem só, he's only, not, or in Portuguese, he has only, ele tem só, Cinco aninhos. And the reason why I brought this to you is because this is very difficult for people that speak English as a first language or me or maybe other languages. They find it hard to say this, to pronounce this N-H-O-N-H-A, this combination of uh, letters in Portuguese because aninhos, ng, ng. It's like yum yum when you say yum yum. Or I don't even know if you say that. I think you say yum, not yum. So yeah, um, something. I don't. I, I don't recall anything in English right now that uses this combination of uh, letters or, or this sound specifically. But I could find something. Um, but anyway, you gotta because we say a lot of these things in Portuguese. So it's good for you to train, to practice with these, uh, uh, with this word specifically I'm giving you here in the sentence example. So, ela tem só, that means she has only, or she is only, cinco aninhos, aninhos. Nice. Now, I want to say he is three little years because we are referring to a kid, right? So, small kid, little years. It makes sense, right? It's got to make sense. You talk to little kids. For example, uh, I'll give you another example later, but ele tem, so he has, or he is, tres aninhos. Ele tem tres aninhos. Oh, ele é tão bonitinho. See that? Um, for example, bonito in Portuguese, that means beautiful. We, we use that both for women and men. So we don't have like a distinction, handsome and beautiful, whatever, you know. So we can say that something is bonitinho. That means cute, right? But basically, literally, that would mean little beautiful. It's little beautiful. I don't know why people don't say that in English, you know. It's, it's so little beautiful. <laughs> it's so cool to say that. Um... But anyway, I guess it doesn't exist. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, ele é bonitinho. Ela é bonitinha. Isso é bem bonitinho. This is so little beautiful. Right? It makes sense. I think you guys should start saying that. So, people... So, it just catches uh, on. And then people just... You know, it becomes a new thing. Because it will be cool. So... Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do so. Click, because of course YouTube is not going to send you any notification when I post a new video. It's just the way it is. It's reality. You have a million subscribers and YouTube delivers to like two. But I hope you enjoy this lesson. I hope you stick around. I'm trying to post more and more videos for you and I'll be posting more and more. And also I'm coming up with a nice short crash Portuguese course where you can learn with no grammar and also you can learn uh, through sentences that we really speak on our daily basis, on our daily conversations. That's what I um, want to teach you. So thank you very much for watching this lesson and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.